Dribbuckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can combine two patterns and in particular combine them as a smart object and then use them with adjustments. And this is using Photoshop CC 2015 and there's some new features in that such as the smart adjustments. Right, first thing to do, create some layers. So I'm just going to quickly go to a layer and new fill layer and pattern. Click OK. So there's a pattern here. This one's from Graphic Extras. This is Rosette's pattern design set. And just select that. Now you can change the size, etc. Sadly, you can't use rotation. Now, there's a new application called Affinity Photo that uh, is really great with a lovely rotation feature. And I would love to see that in uh, Photoshop. Also, I'd love to see another feature of Photoshop I'd love to see would be automatic updating of blending modes and things. Anyway. That's getting off the point. Click OK. Now, because the um, reason I'm mentioning about the combining is the fact that when you actually create this and you can go through them, and I'm just going to maybe use that design. Right. So I've got two here. Now, you go to darken. As you run through it, it doesn't actually change. It would be really nice if that was a feature in Photoshop. Suddenly, you have to just click on that and then wait a few seconds to actually see the various color schemes now some work some don't some work better than others difference certainly probably will not so I'm just going to go for light and of course you can modify the pattern as well you don't have to go with that pattern so you can actually just double click on that again and say well actually let's try some other now that does automatically update as soon as you do it but I say not the blending mode sadly right that one's quite a nice pattern design right once you've got that, you can actually select both of those. So I'm just going to select both. And I'm going to go to a layer and smart objects. Convert to smart object. So the whole thing is now being converted into smart object. Now you'll see that if I actually move this, now it's obviously it's not as before. It's actually an object that uh, has defined limits. So you can reduce it down, move it around various things you can actually rotate the patterns just by this sort of means not ideal but right also what you can do now as it's a smart object in Photoshop CC 2015 you can also go to image and adjustments and maybe go for one of these adjustments you and saturation and you can modify the color as well as the saturation as well as of course if you want don't want any color at all you can just quickly go to image adjustments maybe black and white so you can actually turn it into just a right now once you've done that you think right I don't want that pattern I don't want that to design but you can still change it so you can just double click on that and you'll bring up and there's the patterns again so you can actually just double click on that and then go for a different and maybe even more extreme color scheme click OK and you can modify the You go there, linear button. Nope, that's not much good. Darken. That's why I was thinking it'd be nice if you could actually just run down there and just try out all of them very quickly so you can just see which one you actually like best. Now, what I need to do is close that PSB file, close that, and what happens then it will update there. And you've got your pattern again, which you can, of course, use for a vast range of different things. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.